Yeah, for whoever don't know who I am out here, I'm Mr. Real Talk. I'm from Dayton, Ohio. I've been doing music since 2008. I got a new single out right now called Boxing in the Ring. It's on all platforms. All my diamonds hitting like they boxing in the ring. Boxing in the ring. Boxing in the ring. The drip from the watch should be complimented chain. No, I'm just trying to, you know, start a movement and get my music out here. It's been a long time coming. You know, I've been doing a lot of songs over the years and, you know, I'm not getting them out here the right way. So now I got to, um, I think I got a positive way and a, and, a, and a right track way to get my music out here now, so. All the time we wasting and taking for granted. Yeah, how you know, far as music wise, you know, um, I look up to a lot of people in the game, you know, as far as uh, Jay-Z has been one of my big inspirations. And um, I like, I'm versatile. I like country music. I like hip hop, R&B. I like all sorts of music. Um, that's how I get my, my thought of mind by listening to slow music sometimes. It helps me think of uh, stuff that happens in my own life in the past and stuff like that, and it uh, gives me inspirations to write. Yeah, this, as far as the single go, uh, when I put Boxing and Ring together, it was supposed to be something fun. You know, it's a lot going on in the world because uh, of the coronavirus and the pandemic and everything. And I wanted somebody to have something to look forward to. They could come home and watch, and that's something to make them put a laugh on their face. You know, uh, people that's into sports, it's a really good thing. Uh, it's a good metaphor for people that's into jewelry. And, you know, it's a, just a nice song. As far as my music, I want people to get the real me, and I want my story to be told because I do got a story that I want everybody to know. So I, I came from a struggle, and I came from a lot, and I came from a city with a lot less opportunities so you know I had to make a way for myself so I really want people to get the realness out of my music that's why I call myself Mr. Real Talk. Yeah well you know when I first started out like back in 2007 I was like out here selling CDs and you know and people were still listening to CDs putting the CDs in the CD players and stuff like that but now everybody, you know, uh, doing everything from the internet and the phone. So YouTube is very important. And that's why I stress it that people go subscribe to my page because you can find uh, new songs, uh, updates on uh, music. And it's just a way to get your music out here through word, through mouth. That's the best promotion. And it's best to, you know, use the internet and social media. One person tell the next person, one person share this, and one person tell the next person. And it's like free promotion. And at the same time, you can get it international because people from all different places use social media. So it's, I think it's a good form of way of, you know, promoting your music nowadays. Still bringing checks in, being that's my best friend. Uh, I would change people just getting in because they know other people but because it's it kind of makes it harder because it's only a certain amount of people that can be in the industry at one time and i learned that back in the day you know when i first started doing music everybody got their turn and you know once one person is hot then it's hard for the next person to get in until that person buzz either die or you know somebody come out with a another song just as popular as that song like the industry now it's like people ain't on lyrics it's more on beats now and you know, material things, it's not more on the struggle and telling stories and you know, where hip hop came from and you know, how it began like when Big and Pac first started. Like, you know, I look back now and it's like music just to change completely to me. So I just try to just keep that era of hip hop going and try not to, you know, follow no trends or get uh, off sidetracked of my, my goals and my focus and my vision and I see what my music. Usually I do do like street music, and I am from I'm from I'm from the hood, and I'm, I do street music and I do music for the streets. But I just wanted my fans to know I'm versatile and I could do different types of music, and I'm uh, wanted to show my creativity and my songwriting skills to let people know I am a great songwriter. It's more than life than just hanging in the hood and shooting videos in the hood with guns flashing. You know, I just wanted to show somebody we could do something fun and exciting. That's why I threw in the big boxing gloves and, you know, to make it humor and hilarious. That's why we knocking out the trainer, you know, to show people, you know, we can still have fun and still, you know, be respected at the same time as an artist. Mm, let's get ready to rumble. I think my favorite part is when I said uh, my grill lit as fuck, I call it George Foreman. 
because that's a metaphor and it probably went over a lot of people's head because I'm, you know, barbecue grill is lit, real lit. And I'm talking about like, you know, my grill, like far as diamonds in my mouth. So basically that was like a metaphor. It's a lot of metaphors I use that people got to really listen to my music and like, oh, he just said that, you know. So a lot of stuff I say, I think go over people's head. And I'm the type of artist that you got to listen to me a couple of times and, you know, to get familiar with my music and my style of putting it out there. But I do got a good delivery and I got a nice story. So like I said, when I, when I did Boxing in the Ring, it just was... It was a nice song that I, I did. It's versatile, it's for everybody. It's for young people, it's for old people. It's, uh, I have, have the edited version, it's for the radio. It's, it's for everybody. Yeah. The best thing I could tell somebody that's want to get into the industry and that's trying to get their music out here is to focus on the people that's supporting them and not the people that's not supporting them. Because if you use the energy and to the people that support you, that's how you start your movement by going with your supporters and instead of worried about who not supporting you because that's not important at the end of the day. If you my fan, if you got a dream, I believe in you just as well as you believe in me. So, you know, I try to be humble when it comes to my music and not saying I'm the best or nothing like that. Just telling people, you know, like I got good music. So if you, you know, if you're an up and coming artist, try to be more humble and, you know, try to do stuff for free, you know, like features, whatever you got to do. It's going to be a lot of hard work to get here. This is not going to happen overnight. Just don't give up on your dreams because, you know, I, like I said, I've been doing this since 2008. I could have been gave up. But when you when you local when you independent and you give up, then everything stops. So for you to be an artist and you're independent, for you to keep going, that just says it all right there. You just make history yourself. Even if you don't become famous, you become famous within yourself because you never stop. And no matter what, people are gonna know you for what you did. Right now, I want people to focus on Mr. Real Talk. And I'm trying to uh, build a brand for myself and get my name out here. So, uh, Basically, uh, right now I'm open to do features, but uh, right now I'm basically trying to get my music out here because like I said, I got a lot of songs. I got over a million songs uh, and it's just long overdue. So I am willing to sign to labels if the money right, you know, if everybody's talking the right numbers because like I said, I am a profit and I'd be good to promote any brand. And you know, like I said, I'm willing to put the work in and uh, willing to do the long nights, the long days, the everything, the traveling, whatever I got to do to uh, build my brand. I'm just willing to, to do all that. So I'm, I'm willing to do the money, right? I never like, as a kid, I never thought I like grew up to be a rapper or nothing. But I know I was always into music to the point where I knew I had something to do with music because when I listen to songs, I heard them different from other people. I didn't just listen to the beats, or I didn't just, I always listened to the uh, lyrics and the story they was telling and the meaning behind the stuff they were saying. And it always motivated me to want to uh, tell my story. Cause like I, like I said, I had a rough childhood growing up. I didn't grow up with a lot, but I was the type of kid I always wanted a lot of, out of life. And I never was content to having nothing. I always wanted something. So it's like, um, me having the opportunity to tell the world my story and to let young kids know who uh, came from the same struggle as me, to let them know that they can uh, have an opportunity just like I, I got, you know, to make it and to try to believe in themselves and, you know, take whatever money you got. If you got any dreams out here, then invest it in yourself and don't be scared, you know, because I didn't work regular jobs. I didn't been to work. I didn't did this. I didn't did that. But at the end of the day, my heart was into music. So. I was never content and comfortable working at these jobs. It was always a stepping stone to get further, uh, to further my career in music. So all the money I used from all the other hustles and everything I was out here doing, it was always the intentions to put the money behind my music and you know to get my story told. Y'all better stop acting like real talk ain't get it from the dirt. Like I ain't holla at the plug seven days a week for the work. Shit, get my ass up, get a job, go to work. Shit. Pat came in on the 30th, ran it up on the first. Little homie with me with the stick, booted up on some perks. Ready to put a nigga in the hearse. I know it sound fucked up, but my city is a curse. 
And to make shit worse, this pandemic fucking up the earth. So we all gotta go vote, make a difference. Show people more the ignorance. Show people we got opinions. And all this Trump silly shit, we gotta end this. You know, that's a little song for the camera. Yeah, we're gonna slow it down a little bit. Yeah, tell y'all a little about my life. You gonna throw that four, you gonna throw that four piece on them real quick? My journey. My <laughs> dreams. The things I wanna do in life. My yeah. So you know, like fans come through all the time, I run into people just like, you know, they see me out here, they, you know, respect it, so you know. It just make me feel good to know I make people happy and I I'm, I made a song that people can, you know, it's a little dance to it, you know, boxing in the league. If a nigga wanna hit, hoes on my dick, man, I think I'm a pimp. Pocket full of lit, man, they ain't had shit. Now my shoes are some rent, just bought them for the kids.